I think the the word patience itself is is a very sort of passive thing. Yeah. You know, if you if you look at sabr, it's yeah. a very active thing. Yeah. Um, I, I would probably translate it more as perseverance rather than patience yeah. because I feel patience in English is a very passive thing. It's mm. like I'll just wait for this time to be over and then I'll be okay. Or, yeah. You know, it, it's not like that. Sabr is supposed to be where no matter what situation I'm in, I've got that strength to continue and do what is required from, you know, Allah, you know, what Allah requires from me. I, I, I'll have that strength within me, and that's sabr, mm. you know, whereas we sort of, oh, um, just wait down, it out, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. wait it out, and things will get better, and yeah. I'll get over it, it that, yeah. that's not what sabr is, no. so I think it's, it's that concept of perseverance, just, just pushing myself, and, and knowing that God's given me those tools to, to be able to handle it, and to be able to then move forward and, and grow from it. Mm. And it's, it's again looking at the positive rather than the negative. Yeah. The sad thing is I think the way shaitan works, he constantly makes us look at the negatives. So even when something is very positive, for example, we're, you know, we've been given the opportunity to go to for ziyara. Mm. You know, we'll go for ziyara, we, we, you know, say I, I'm going for ziyara for 10 days. Now, when it gets to the seventh, eighth day, I'm already starting to feel negative. It's like, oh, I've got to go back. And mm. next week at this time, I'm going to be back in London. I was always meant to go for 10 days. I was never, I'd never gone there to mm. stay there. You see, and, and then what I do is because I'm feeling very negative, the last few days are, are wasted to a certain extent. Yeah. And then I come back and then I go through what people have referred to as the post Ziara blues. Yeah. Again, you know, I'm supposed to come back spiritually uplifted yeah. and, you know, ready for this world and bring it back into my world and everything. But what Shaitan's done is made, he's made the positive experience of Ziara into a negative thing because all I'm doing is feeling sorry for myself. Oh, I'm not back there now. I wish I was is there. It, is it just that or, or that the fact that um, separation is a part of our existence? That, yes. But that yearning and, and they are the yearning purpose and the reality pushes that. you to emulate yeah. those personalities, not to sort of feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. They never talk, you know, you never see them feeling sorry for themselves. It's like none of the Ahlul Bayt ever felt sorry for themselves. No. Yes, they felt sad because they were humans. Of course yeah. they felt sad. But they never felt sorry for themselves. Whereas we're constantly feeling sorry for, oh, I, you know, it's not fair. I was oh, in yeah. Ziyar. You know, do, do you yeah. see what, the difference? It's like, yes, you will feel sad because of the yearning of yeah. being separated from, the, you know, from them. And, but, but look at the fact that you were there. Yes, and, yeah. and what did I get from it? And, you know, how am I going to bring it back to my life? What am I going to do with that opportunity that God gave sure. me? How am I going to grow from it? So constantly be looking for the growth and the positiveness rather than the negativity. Yeah. Keep the zen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.